Okay, so today we're going to be doing pulmonary function testing on our subject, Ethan. And pulmonary, pulmonary function testing is really good to look at an individual's lung function and see sort of where they're sitting. Uh, so with this, we have our bell spirometer here, which is how we're going to be measuring our forced vital capacity, FBC, and our forced expiratory volume in one second, FEV1. Um, as well as our FEV1 over FBC, which is kind of the ratio of how much air can you get out in one second versus your total expiratory volume. Um, so those are the three different components that we're gonna be measuring using our bell spirometer. And uh, when we do this, as you guys remember from lecture, we're gonna do this three different times um, and we want three good curves. So if you have to do this four or five times, um, really whatever you have to do until you get those three good curves. And what that means is you kind of want a nice break point of where the person goes from their full inhale to starting that full exhale and blasting that air out. So a really nice break point there, which you'll see in a lecture, we'll include a picture and everything. We also want a nice smooth curve as they're exhaling, uh, making sure that there's no blips or little minor inhales during that exhale. Uh, and then the last thing we're looking for is a really good plateau at the bottom. Uh, so that shows that the person exhaled fully and they're all the way at the bottom of their lungs. They can get no more air out, which is why you have that nice plateau. So that's kind of what we're going for here with Ethan. Uh, so now I'll kind of walk you through how we're going to be doing that using the Bell spirometer. Uh, so as you can see here, we have uh, a paper, which is kind of our recording paper on here, uh, which will have the tracing of when he's doing his uh, forced vital capacity. Um, so that's the paper right there. As you can see, there's a little pen right here um, that will actually be doing the tracing while he's breathing. Um, and then if we go over here to Ethan, we have a filter on the end, which this is an antibacterial filter um, because obviously all of this, we just wanna make sure he's breathing nice, clean air. And then we also have nose clips so that anything that he's breathing is coming straight out of his mouth and not out of his nose at all. Okay, so Ethan, are you ready to get going? I'll explain everything and what you're gonna be doing. Um, and so, so what you're gonna do, start with is just some nice normal breathing. So when I let you know, you'll go ahead and go on that mouthpiece. Just start with some nice normal inhales and exhales. Um, and then whenever you're ready at the um, end of a normal expiration, you're just gonna breathe all the way in, fill your lungs all the way to the top. Uh, when you can't breathe in anymore, but right when you're at the top of your lungs, go ahead and just blast that air all the way out. Exhale as fast and as much as you possibly can. And then I'm gonna have you just hold it at the bottom for about six seconds. Sound good? Any questions? No questions. Okay, great. Um, so I'll go ahead and have you put those nose clips on. And then we just wanna push our pen up against the paper so that we know that it's gonna be recording. And then whenever you're ready, you can go ahead, yep, adjust that to where it feels good. Good enough? Yeah. Okay, awesome. And you can even hold it with one hand if you need to. Um, so whenever you're ready, go ahead and go on that mouthpiece. Start with just those normal inhales and exhales. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and breathe all the way in, fill those lungs all the way up. And then, and then, and and blast it out. Go, go, keep going, keep going, keep going. Push, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. And you're good. Go ahead and stop. Nice job. All right, sweet. Good work. How was that? Good? I think I can do better. Okay. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, so now we're just going to do uh, two more curves, just like that one. That one looked really good. Um, we'll show you on the paper and have that online for you guys to look at. Um, but so yeah, we're just gonna do two more just like that. Um, just so you guys do know, there is a correction factor for this bell spirometer. Uh, so when you're doing your calculations, you'll have to multiply by two. Uh, that's just how the paper works out to be. Um, so just one thing to note there. Um, but okay, Ethan, you ready to do one more? Yep. Okay, so whenever you're ready, go ahead and go on there, start those normal. Inhales and exhales. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and fill your lungs all the way to the top. Go, 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 and exhale. Push all that air out, nice job. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Push, 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 keep going, keep going. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and you're good. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do another one. Um, we're not quite sure if that last one plateaued all the way, so we're just gonna um, go ahead and do one more. So Ethan, whenever you're ready, go ahead and go on and start with just those normal inhales and exhales. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and take that nice deep breath in. Nice job, and push all that air out. Nice job, keep going, keep going, keep going. Push, push, push. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. And good job. Okay, so we're just gonna have Ethan do one more, and we're good to go. So whenever you're ready, start with those normal inhales and exhales. Nice job. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and inhale all the way. Nice job for those lungs. And bless out. Nice job. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Push, push, push. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. And you're good. Nice work. Okay, so next in pulmonary function, we're going to use our box barometer here, which you guys should have seen before in 338 Lab. Um, but this we're going to use to simulate obstructive and restrictive lung diseases. So we're gonna again do three different trials on this. One is just gonna be normal. So he's just gonna inhale all the way off the mouthpiece. And then obviously he has nose clips on. Um, and then he'll put the mouthpiece in his mouth and blast all that air out as fast and as much as he can, just like we did in the valve barometer. Uh, so that will be the first trial. Our second trial, we are going to use um, the plug and this will kind of help to simulate obstructive lung disease and uh, this will have them have a hard time getting the air out. So that's kind of why we're using this. We're basically decreasing the diameter of the space he can exhale into. And then lastly, for our third trial, we are going to use this wrap and this will constrict his lungs. Um, so we're simulating restrictive lung disease with this. So this time he'll have a hard time inhaling, um, but it won't really affect the um, results too, too much. But I'll let you guys see what we come up with um, on our print out here on the box barometer. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and start with trial one. And um, so whenever you're ready, you can put those, those clips on. And then, like I said, you're just going to inhale all the way off the mouthpiece, put your mouth on that mouthpiece, make a nice tight seal and blast all that air out as fast and as much as you can. Again, we're gonna hold it for about six seconds, okay? So whenever you're ready, go ahead and start that nice sharp inhale. And blast it out, nice job, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice job, keep pushing, keep pushing. And you're good, good work. <clears throat> nice job. So then it will go back to normal. So now you can go ahead and take your filter out and you can go ahead and replace the. Okay, so now for trial two, we have the rubber stopper in. Um, so this will be simulating obstructive lung disease. So you'll do the same exact thing. Um, so whenever you're ready, go ahead and start by filling those lungs all the way up. And go on that mouthpiece, blast it all out. Nice job, keep going, keep going, keep going. Push, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Hold it, keep going, keep going. Push, 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 keep going, keep going. Go, 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 keep going, keep going. And you're good, nice job. Oh. <laughs> that one is hard. Um, okay, so now we will go ahead, I can hold that for you if you want. And go ahead and put this wrap on. Okay, so uh, for trial three, like I said, we're simulating restrictive lung disease. So he has a nice wrap kind of compressing his lungs a little bit. Um, again, he's gonna do the same exact maneuver um, with the inhale and the full sharp exhale. Um, so whenever you're ready, go ahead and do this last one. Blast it out, nice job, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, go, 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 nice job. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Push, 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 keep going, keep going, and you're good. Nice work. Okay, so that is what we did on the box barometer.